السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Greetings of peace, mercy and blessings. Welcome to Science Amazing Adventure, where the search for the truth continues. Hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let me take you where your imaginations will allow you to go. This is your science teacher, Teacher Aina, your guide in exploring and discovering the world of science for. Asayan, terrific morning, my dear young scientists. How are you doing today? Great! It's nice to know you are all doing fine. Are you excited to learn new things today? Excellent! As you already knew, materials can undergo change with their characteristics or properties through many ways. For today's episode, we shall learn what will happen to materials when they are mixed with other materials? Brace yourselves, young scientists. Prepare your PPS, pen, paper, and self-learning module, for you will be using them in your science adventure. Some of the materials in our environment undergo changes when they are mixed with other materials. How does this happen? Take a look on this situation. Marisa is preparing some orange juice for her afternoon snack. What happened to the orange juice powder when it was mixed with a glass of water? What have you observed, my dear learners? Great! The orange juice powder dissolved in a glass of water. What happened to the color of the water? Excellent! The color became orange. How about the taste? Very good! It became sweet. Young scientists, before we proceed to our lesson today, let us recall our lesson from our previous episode. Look who's here! We have our dear friend, Tech Machino. Hello, Tech Machino. Could you bring us back to our previous lesson? There are changes in the properties of materials when they are heated or cooled. When a solid material is heated, it absorbs heat. The heat absorbed by the material causes the material to change its form from solid to liquid. The material also changes in size, shape, texture, and form. When a solid material is cooled, it removes heat. The heat released from the material causes it to change its form from liquid to solid. It also changes its size, shape, texture, and form. Wow! That's wonderful! Thank you so much, Tech Machino! Today, we shall learn that materials undergo change when they are mixed with other materials. When we are experiencing cold weather, we like to drink hot chocolate. What are the materials mixed together to form a mixture of hot chocolate that we can drink? That's right! You mix the cocoa powder, a glass of hot water, and sugar. A mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together. It is a product of the random distribution of one substance through another without a chemical reaction. Examples of mixtures are Halo Halo, Pizza, Glass of Milk, and Coffee. Mixed materials can be classified 
depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. Some solid materials, when mixed with other materials, cannot be distinguished from each other. The resulting mixture looks the same all throughout. This kind of mixture is called a homogeneous mixture. An example of this is when you mix sugar and water. Sugar dissolves in water and is no longer visible in the mixture. Other examples are liquid medicines, salt solutions, and juice drinks. Science for learners are always eager to discover and learn. Right? Yes, indeed! So get ready for our activity time! These are the materials that we need. Milk powder, cocoa, sugar, a glass of hot water, and a spoon. Let's start! First, put a spoon of milk powder and cocoa in a glass of hot water. Second, stir it using the spoon. Lastly, add a little amount of sugar. Young scientists, let's answer the following questions. Number 1. What happened to the milk, cocoa powder, and sugar when they were mixed in the hot water? Great! The milk, cocoa powder, and sugar dissolved in the water. Number 2. What happened to the color of the water? Very good! It became brown in color. Number 3. Can you still recognize or distinguish the sugar, milk, and cocoa powder in the mixture? Correct! The sugar, milk, and cocoa powder can no longer be distinguished from each other. Number 4. What kind of mixture is this form? Very good! It is a homogeneous mixture. Well done, young scientists! I am very happy you got all the correct answers in our activity. So for that, you deserve your first star. In order to further deepen your understanding, let's have another activity. Let's check if the following mixtures are homogeneous or not. Put a check mark if the mixture given has a uniform appearance or homogeneous. And a cross mark if it is not. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Mixture of salt and water. Very good! A mixture of salt and water has a uniform appearance. The answer is a check. Number 2. Mixture of mongo beans and water. Correct! In this mixture, the mongo beans can still be recognized. The correct answer is an X. Number 3. Mixture of sand and pebbles. Right! In the mixture, the sand and the pebbles can still be distinguished from each other. The correct answer is an X. Number 4. Mixture of soy sauce and vinegar. The answer is a check. Excellent! Soy sauce and vinegar cannot be distinguished from each other. Well done, my dear young scientists! I am very proud of you for doing well in this activity. You got all the correct answers. So, that will be another three stars for all of you. Materials mixed with other materials undergo change and can be beneficial in various ways. In our activity a while ago, we mixed milk, cocoa and sugar in a glass of hot water 
and it became chocolate milk. What do you think are the benefits of drinking a glass of milk every day? List down four benefits. Very good! Milk is rich in calcium and good for our bones. That's right! It helps us to have stronger bones. Correct! Milk is rich in protein and is good for our muscles. Good! Milk helps boost our immune system and keeps us away from diseases. So, you see, young scientists, milk has many benefits. So don't forget to drink your milk every day so that you're always healthy and free from diseases. For today's lesson, we learned that materials undergo change when mixed with other materials. Some materials, when mixed with other materials, can become unrecognizable. The resulting mixture looks the same all throughout. This mixture is called a homogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture wherein the individual components of the material cannot be distinguished from each other after mixing. Hence, it has a uniform composition or appearance. Young scientists, are you ready for our assessment? I know you are all ready. So, let's start! Number 1 a mixture which has a uniform composition. Letter A, homogeneous. Letter B, mixture. Letter C, solution. Letter D, suspension. The correct answer is letter A. Number two, iced tea drink is an example of blank. Letter A, heterogeneous. Letter B, homogeneous. Letter C, medicine. Letter D, suspension. The correct answer is letter B. Number three, the following mixture has a uniform composition except blank. Letter A, coffee. Letter B, milk. Letter C, orange juice. Letter D, sand and water. The correct answer is letter D. Number four, which of the following mixtures is a homogeneous? Letter A, halo halo. Letter B, macaroni salad. Letter C, chocolate drink. Letter D, fruit salad. The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. Which of the following mixtures is useful? Letter A, medicine. Letter B, sand and water. Letter C, oil and water. Letter D, sugar and water. The correct answer is letter A. That's all for today, young scientists. I hope we had answered your questions on what, why, and how. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Follow where your imaginations allow you to go. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Aina. Don't forget to follow our official DepEd TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch your lessons anytime, anywhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Wassalam!